Jaguars, Rams coming up on EA Sports as we welcome you to St. Louis, Missouri for today's game. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. The Jaguars will go with the pistol on this play. The Rams defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And that's a gain of maybe five. Here's a look at the Jaguars offense. Will they finally find a way to run up and down the field? So far on the year, it's been boring. the Jaguars doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium Allen with the reception gains five quarterbacks always love play action passes why because it usually gives them a little more time to throw when you get more time you're going to make a better decision and you're going to be more accurate The Rams with a nickel look here on defense. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Spinning out of trouble, and that's a gain of 10. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage. Look out, they'll throw it over the top. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. Left, 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 left. Ivory, the lone Three. setback this time. The Jaguars now move the chains. I think when I was playing, anytime we crossed the 50-yard line, it was kind of like a big sigh of relief because I knew now that there were a lot of things that could take place. I could afford to take sacks. I could... Uh, afford to be a little more aggressive let's see how the offense reacts to this ball from the 46 the Rams with two hey. extra defensive backs in the dime hey, hey. Go, go, go. first down at the 46 Allen can't bring it in that'll probably go as a drop and now here's the Rams defense they are one of the best in the NFL when it comes to total defense. Second down after the incompletion. And Ivory's handed the football. McDonald's there to make the tackle. Well, we don't see this too often. This is a speed back, but a good job that time just running right through the tackle and breaking it. two here after the run the Rams will come out in the dime he's gonna get another carry that's a gain of eight that time nice job offensive line gives him a little hole and he gets in there and shows his toughness and picks up the first down
Coming to the line at the 30. Press coverage all the way. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. First down at the 30. It's complete to Allen Robinson. McDonald there to make the stop. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Coming up to the line at the four. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Running, breaks the plane, touchdown. Still three and a half quarters of football to play, but that touchdown gives them the lead here early. Yeah, I know. There's a long way to go. There's no doubt it. But you've got you to gotta like your situation and the feel that your football team has getting that score and being on top. Extra point is good. The Rams are ready to return the kick. They send the tight end in motion. First down at the 20. Curley's going to take the handoff now. Now, let's meet the offensive starters. A group that has been under great scrutiny all week long after its awful performance a week ago. Second down coming up. Zebra, zebra, eight, eight. They need to get the playoff. The Rams elect to take a timeout here before the second down snap. from the 22 to the ground here's the Jaguars defensive lineup they've done a great job against the pass this season on the way third down the Rams get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Manziel's back in shotgun formation. Harvin's got the catch and the first. It's wide open on his way. The 10 touchdown. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. Makes the PAT. The Jags are ready to return the kick. He's brought to a halt. That return's good for about 22. The Jaguars coming back onto the field on offense. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it. Listen, momentum is on their side. When you have that going for you, keep the defense guessing at what you're going to do. So I think it's very important to stay aggressive in this situation. 
The Rams' defense now is going to go nickel. First down at the 17. Allen can't bring it in. That will probably go as a drop. Well, the quarterback that time tried to squeeze it into tight coverage, but no can do. The coverage is too good, and the football ball is incomplete. Coming up, second down. Robinson's got it. First down. It's first down as they head to the line. Left, 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 left. Oh, no, left. They'll run it here. Take it down at the 39. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Almost to the 40 at the 39-yard line. Go, 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 go. Second down and one. He runs with it right up the gut. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well, and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. The Jaguars in the pistol formation. And Ivory's taking the handoff. Delmas is the one who brings him to the ground. here getting ready for the second quarter Phil that was a defensive tug of war the first quarter it sure was and it was a tug of war and it was boring that's what it looked like I, I, I want to give the defense some credit I thought they did well but really the offenses just poor play selection poor execution and you got to get some emotion going out there on the offensive side trying to hook up with Allen that time but this pass goes incomplete well, when you get in a situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by a surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Looking long. Pass is intercepted. Maybe that pick will be a momentum builder for this team at the start of the second. Well, I know the offensive coordinator sitting over there going, I sure hope so. So he, he's not happy the way his team has played on the offensive side so far. Give him a play, catch the defense by a surprise, and get this lead. The Rams from the 27. Got drilled as he throws it. Second and ten. Curley's got it on the handle. Third down now. Manzel's alone in the backfield. Out of the shotgun. Wants to go deep. And it's swatted away. Phil, if that first quarter was any indication, this is going to be all about defense today. Well, it's a great start by both defenses, Jim. When I'm not going to question that. You know what happens a lot of times in games like this? As the defense stays on the field, it gets a little tired. That's when the offenses take over. We'll see if these defenses can hang in there today. Mm -hmm. 
He steps out. The Jaguars last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, Phil? Will they play it a little safer this time around? Oh, I don't think so. I think what you do on the offensive side, you stay aggressive. It's not a perfect game. There's going to be mistakes and penalties, and you got to learn to overcome that adversity. So go out there, let it go, and try to score points. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the respect. Fairly takes down the quarterback. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. The Rams defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. He'll go nickel. From the gun. Looking middle that time. And it's incomplete. Well, the most common thing that most offensive coordinators do in the NFL on third long situations, they're going to call a play where they probably don't think they're going to pick up the first down, but they're looking for field position. They face third down after the incomplete pass. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. After the incomplete pass, it's third down. The Jaguars will set up. The 36 is the first down line. Portal's going to take it from the gun. Looking at every option. Takes the hit. Throws. I'll tell you what, it hasn't taken too long for both of these defenses to assert themselves. This already has the look of a game that's going to wind up being won in the trenches. Well, we found out talking to both of these teams during the week, they're sick of all this offense in the NFL. Man, they wanted to come out and make a statement, and both teams have done that so far. Austin's going to take this one from the 28. Picks up about five. The Rams got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. Here's the quick toss. And pick up about four. The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Manziel has everybody split out wide for this snap. Complete to Harvin for a gain of about five. Mark him down for another reception. A lot of times you look at the drag route and you think that's the safety valve. You know what? It is. The quarterback is always taught to look down the field. If there's nobody open, throw it to the drag route coming across the field. That time they did it, it's just short of getting the first down. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Quarterback dagger. likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Down the field. With the contact, the ball comes out. This game has the feel of one of those old 10-7, 6-3 sort of slugfest from back in the 50s or 60s as both of these defenses, Phil, have imposed their will here in the first half. You are right. That is the feel it has, and I like the way it's feeling. It's fun to watch this, isn't it? I think even you are kind of excited to see something different and fun to watch so far. The Jaguars' offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive a quick three and out yeah it was i don't know if they can erase this defense this defense is pretty good we saw that in the last drive and they got good players and they're pretty excited so this is going to be tough on the offense picks up about two got to give a lot of credit to the defense they were all over the run that time and they only give up a short game and now the 
will try over again on second down. The Rams go with the dime formation here on defense. Robinson's going to pull in the bullet pass. First down, following the long play. And Ivory's going to secure the handoff. They advance the ball onto the other side of the field. The defense, when they watch this tape tomorrow, they are going to get their rear ends chewed out. Look at the broken tackles that time by the running back. Second down and two to go after the running play. The Rams come out in a dime package. Bortles got it in the gun. Finds his mark. Running room. McDonald's there to take him down. Well, if you want to keep your place on the offense, then catch the pass and break a tackle and get some extra yards. That's what the guy did on that play. Nice job by him. That long gain sets them up here on this play. And Ivory's handed the football. Touchdown. A big touchdown right there. They're almost sure to take the lead to the locker room with that score. All touchdowns are big, man. They're all exciting. They all make you feel great. And right now, the offense, they are feeling great about what they did on that last drive. The Jaguars getting ready to kick it off. This is Whitaker running it out. Spins out of the defender's clutches. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Rams offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him when they went to the sidelines. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run. First down at the 19. Curley's going to take the handoff now. It's now second down. Halftime, two minutes away. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Second down and a long way to go. Kenny Britt pulls it in. Offense still looking for a first after that completion on second down. The Rams all bunched up here as they get set at the line. Cook's got it on a pass that had some heat. That's his first reception today. The Rams trail here in the first half, Bill, but you can't say there aren't some positives here. Manziel's doing what he can to keep them in the game. Well, they are losing, but you cannot blame the offense. The offensive line doing a good job giving the quarterback time, and the offensive coordinator, he's sitting over there going, he doesn't know which play to call because everything is working in the passing game. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. Cook's one of those guys, if he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows, no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. From the shotgun. Has his target. Alexander's 
tackled down after a gain of five. The Rams do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards, and now it makes third down much easier. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Jaguars sat at the line. Dime package. Third down and four. Looking across the middle. Intercepted! That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Jaguars offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they run onto the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. And when you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. The Jaguars come to the line in a tight game here in the second quarter. The score's 14 to 7. First down at the 33. And it's complete to Keenan Allen. Nice job that time by the runner. Gets out of bounds after the play. You got under two minutes and you need to stop the clock. So he gets it done. In plus territory at the 49. First down at the 49. Looking long. There's a flag right there. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able to get that hand up there and knock it down. Jim, look at that. The defensive line all shifting down inside. They're expecting a run right up the middle. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. And that's a two-yard gain. Good coaching on the defensive side. Everybody stays at home. They stay in their gap, and they hold that run to a short game. Not surprised at all to see this hurry-up offense in a situation like this in the NFL now. you got to be the aggressor, and this offense is definitely being the aggressor. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Empty backfield look for Bortles here. Bortles going to take the snap from the shotgun. A short field goal try on the way. The kick is good. How important was it, Phil, to add another three to the lead before the intermission? And you got to look at the team that's trailing right now. You got to go in at halftime and change what you're doing because what you've been doing so far, it hasn't worked. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22 yard line. That'll do it for the first half. We'll be sending you to Larry Ridley back in our studios as we continue with the NFL on EA Sports. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Rams are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, you can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Second and eight coming up. The Rams come to the line with a bunch set. Manziel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. He's in the clear. The 10 taking it all the way home for the touchdown. Well, whatever was said at the half seems to have done the trick. This team has listened, and now it's anybody's game once again, Phil. Jim, let's see if I can imitate the coach at half. If you guys don't start playing better, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to put in different starters. 
and he wouldn't he probably wasn't quite that nice so be listen and they came out here and they played differently and now they're back in this game and he's met head on right there at the 20. The Jaguars really have this offense cranking, Phil. They scored on their last two series. You know, what we see now in the NFL, so many different ways to move an offense, screens, run plays, power plays, trick plays. Right now, everything working on the offensive side. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Has the reception all alone. That's his fourth catch of the day. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Handoff. Picked up a couple that time. This is one good tackling defense. They stay in good position at all times. And we saw it that time, and they stopped the play for a short game. the two-yard carry it sets up second down and eight left, 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 left. when you see linebackers Three. moving like this you're trying to confuse the offensive line Thomas has the catch he's tackled beyond the markers it's a first down well here we are in the second half of a tight game and you you always hear this control the tempo of the game just move the chains and that's what the offense did that time picked up the first down and just keep marching from here First and ten. Gets the handle here. And they tackle him there at the 34. He's averaging five yards per carry on the day. At the line of scrimmage, the 34. Second down, four to go. Trying to plow ahead. Coming to the line at the 34. The Jaguars get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Corners formation here for the defense. Third and four. Surveys. Keenan Allen brings it in. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Still powering ahead. Trying to find his target over the middle, but that pass goes incomplete. Stepping up to the line of scrimmage, the 22-yard line. Takes it from the gun. Brings it in. Charging ahead. Has 12 on this play. That's his first reception today. Trying to get extra yards after the catch. And when you can break tackles like this, that's an excellent job by the wide receiver. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. 
Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Go, go, go. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. Over to Thomas. Thomas is marked down after a gain of four. The Jaguars offense, they go with the pass down here in the red zone. They throw the ball and it's completed, but it doesn't fool the defense. It gets very little yardage. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Second and goal from the six. Will go ground over the line. Touchdown. Those points may have made the lead insurmountable with just over a quarter to play. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes you get in a situation like this. Don't look at the scoreboard. Just think about going out and executing one play at a time. And you hope if you do that somewhere in the fourth quarter, you could find a way to get back into this game. The Rams are ready to return the kick. This is Whitaker running it out. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Rams getting set to take over again on offense. They'll be trying to pick it up right where they left off with their last drive that ended in a touchdown. Yeah, they're throwing the football well. And I'll tell you, I've been covering this game a long time. There's still nothing prettier than seeing a quarterback drop back and throw a perfect spiral down the field and watching guys catch it. It's... That was a work of art for last round. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The Jaguars defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. Tavon Austin the target. That's another reception given to. Anytime you get over four yards on first down, it doesn't matter what the play is. Is it a run or a pass? That time, nice throw by the QB. Now they're in great position. Second down and short. Second and one. Gurley's taking the handoff. And he's able to get out to the 34-yard line. When you're behind in the football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs, good job by the offense. The Rams have it at the 34. Outside now on the toss. Shakes off the tackle. Paul Poslesny makes the tackle. The Rams offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. The Rams offense has switched sides now and has the football as we begin the fourth quarter. The final quarter begins with this snap. Bailey's tackled down after a gain of five. The Rams pushing towards the end zone here, partner. Yeah, Jim, they're trying to get back in the game. But what I want to see here, I want to see some creativity on the offensive side to get this team back in the game. Manziel's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Curley's brought down after picking up only a yard. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Here they come. The football at the one. The Jaguars packing the box here. 46 formation. Gives it to him again. I think the big decision is now, Jim, do you kick the football, take the three points, or do you go for it on fourth down to me? You kick the football and get three points on the board. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. The Rams come out in a bunch set. Power surge for six. Touchdown. That time on fourth and goal, the offense goes for it. The defense is all excited. They want to try to stop them, and they make bad mistakes and give up the touchdown. He made it. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff.
No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Jaguars take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? Thomas there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. The line of scrimmage, the 48. The Rams lined up in the nickel. First down at the 48. Makes the catch. That's a gain of seven. The Jaguars, coaching staff, they have been smart today. They are keeping everybody off balance, even me. I thought for sure they would run the football, but no, they come out on first down, they throw it, they pick up solid yards. Good job by them. Bortles now completed four in a row. After the pass play, gain seven. Second and three on the way. They'll go ground. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. This is third down. The Rams with a nickel look here on defense. Lee's got it and a first. At the thirty one, here we go. Hey, hey. They're back at the line Let after that catch for a first down. Hand off made. Good for only a yard. He's averaging about four yards a carry. When you lead the game in the fourth quarter and you're on offense, you are looking to use the time up on the clock. So that was a nice play call by the offense to run. Defense stops it for a short game. This next play comes from the 30. Second down and eight. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. He's tackled right at the 24. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. It's third down coming up. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. The catch is made, and that gains a few. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. Bortles completed his last six passes. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The defense needs a big stop here in order to give the offense a chance as we're running low on time in this one. First and ten. The give. And that'll be a gain of about two. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will be the eighth play of this drive. The Rams' defense now is going to go nickel. Second and eight. And that's a gain of nine. 
First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Last play before the two-minute warning. So first and goal to go. Up the gut here. Bortles met after a gain of eight. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Marching down the field and taking their time. The Rams defense packs it in now, going with the 46. Second and goal from the two. They, they jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. Phil, that's the touchdown that ended any hope for the other side. No hope, no doubt. That's what this game was about. There was no doubt from the start who the better team was, and they came out here, and for four quarters, they showed everybody. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Jaguars setting up here for the kickoff. Harbin will run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Rams offense ready to continue its recent run here as they've scored the last two times they've had it, Phil. Well, let's look at it from the defensive side. You know, what do you think they're thinking? Oh, my gosh, what's coming next? Because everything the offense has tried so far has worked. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Second down and ten. Here's the handoff. Tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense, so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. That's reception number two for him. The Rams still trail, but as we look at the passing numbers, it's hard to find much fault with them. Manziel's tried to keep his team in it any way he can. Well, a couple things, Jim. You can't blame the quarterback because they're trailing. He has been outstanding here today. The offense, the offensive line, the play calling, all good. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Jim, this time it's a halfback screen. Nice job by the quarterback. The halfback, good job after catching it, picked up some good yards. Manziel's completion percentage, 60% on the day. Out of the gun. Stedman Bailey makes the hole. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Managing that clock, such a big deal in the NFL. That's why they're hurrying up. Don't use that timeout. Keep those timeouts because that is going to maybe give you a chance to win the game. They come to the line at the 31-yard line. Just about a minute left. It would take a miracle to pull this one out. Second and short. Looking for Percy Harvin, and they can't connect. Well, my man at quarterback does have a strong arm. He showed it that time, didn't he? He threw that thing high and far and just overthrew the receiver. Third down coming up, needing a first at this point. Manziel has everybody split out wide for this snap. Stedman Bailey with the catch. In the NFL, it's all about situations now. You're down. There's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive player. He picks up some good yards and then gets out of bounds and stops the clock. First down, 
pressure on every snap now. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Manzel's back in shotgun formation. And a flag is down. Keeps churning ahead. And they're all over him for the sack. How about the defense on that play? They were not fooled. They see the pass coming. They get the penetration. They get to the quarterback quick. And that's a big sack down near the goal line. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Zebra, zebra, five, now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. Zebra, zebra. Eight, eight. First and goal. Manziel's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. Well, sometimes when you have a talented receiver, you just got to put up with plays like that. He might drop a few, but when he does catch it, they can make a big play. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Big play coming. Defense looking for a stop. Gurley makes the grab. Tim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football. They're going to go with the pass. And if it is a pass, I would look for something quick. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry-up offense. Good job. Fourth and nine, and the offense trots back onto the field. They're going to go for it. Back at the line. They're going for it on fourth. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. It's complete to Todd Gerving. All the way home just in time. A late touchdown. The Rams lined up for the extra point. The point after is good. The Rams need a score, so they're going to be going with an onside kick. Well, I think they had any choice. He had to go for the onside kick there, and really the kick is just not good enough to give his, his teammates a chance for recovery, and now the game is probably over. The Jaguars' offense comes out for what is, in essence, just a kneel down or two to make this one official. And, Phil, what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh, yeah, a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field. And it's just, you think about it this way. A tough week of work, all the preparation and the practice, and you came through and got it done and enjoyed the moment. Is every win sweet, or are the close ones that much more satisfying than just blowing someone out for 60 minutes? Well, the close ones are more satisfying because the tension is there longer. And the longer you're under tension, when it finally uh, comes to fruition and you win, it just makes it that much more exciting, Jim. For Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.